In the late afternoon, an individual, lying on a gurney out of sheer boredom, decides to document their surroundings. The initial moments of the video appear uneventful, with not much happening. However, only seconds later, a chilling and inexplicable event unfolds. Although the clip lacks substantial context, the viewer is drawn into the unsettling scene as the person records themselves and their environment. The atmosphere takes a chilling turn when the person capturing the footage glimpses what appears to be someone or something standing in the corner of the room. The sudden and eerie appearance is intensified by the figure's thin and pallid appearance, adding to the unsettling nature of the scene. The space where the figure was initially seen is now conspicuously empty. Viewers have remarked on the figure's alarming features, noting its extreme thinness and ghostly complexion. Despite the lack of substantial context, the woman behind the camera, overwhelmed with terror, promptly concludes the video. The brevity of the encounter and the absence of clear explanations contribute to the overall creepiness of the footage, leaving viewers unsettled even with limited information. Sydney, who asserts to reside in a building purportedly imbued with supernatural activity. SpongeBob night. Liam, come here. Liam, come, right now. What is happening? Okay, I'm calling your mom. Just stay right here. Unusual occurrences unfold in the kitchen, ranging from clothes inexplicably descending the stairs to a rocking chair seemingly moving on its own. These incidents, undeniably disconcerting, prompt contemplation of their paranormal nature. However, the veracity of these phenomena remains uncertain. Nicole Bratton, a wife and mother of two, is known for sharing a variety of content on her platform. Her followers anticipate the unpredictable nature of her uploads, but a recent video managed to catch them off guard. One night, Nicole was startled by a loud noise emanating from her living room. Upon investigation, she discovered that a framed picture had fallen off the wall. Intrigued, she decided to review the security camera footage from that room, and the revelation she encountered left her and her audience startled. In the rear right corner of the room, Nicole captures on camera the moment when the picture unexpectedly falls off the wall and onto the couch. 
upon closer inspection, it seems as though the picture was knocked down by a dark, shadowy figure that appears to swipe at it. As the picture descends, the shadow morphs into a solid, dark mass, continuing its movement down the wall. Nicole, perplexed and unsettled by this inexplicable occurrence, finds herself at a loss for an explanation. The unexplained presence and its actions have left her on edge. This unsettling video, previously circulated, was recorded and shared in 2010 by a girl named Demi. In the footage, Demi and her two friends can be seen engaging in a game of ball in the courtyard green. I bet you can't catch this. <laughs> Throw it higher. Come on, to me, not, not no one else. To me, to you. To me? <laughs> Oi, what is that? What was that? Can you see that there? Oh my days, that was creepy. During their game, one of Demi's friends noticed a peculiar sight in an upstairs window. Demi swiftly directed her camera towards it, revealing the ghostly visage of a pale young man staring out before vanishing behind the wall. Disturbed by this encounter, Demi and her friends promptly reported it to the manager, leading to an investigative ascent to the upstairs area. However, nothing unusual was found, and the room from which the apparition appeared was consistently locked and unused. Demi, profoundly affected by the sighting, confessed to struggling with sleep after the incident. The video has left YouTube viewers deeply unsettled, with many, including Fiona, expressing an eerie discomfort that transcends the authenticity debate. Fiona noted the palpable ghostly quality of the figure, particularly its penetrating and menacing eyes, leaving an indelible impact. While the majority of comments lean towards the belief that the video captures a genuine ghostly manifestation, Opinions vary. What are your thoughts on this chilling footage? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Two girls engaged in a dance routine, and judging by the video quality, it seems to have been recorded several years ago. Despite the somewhat subpar resolution, the clip exudes an eerie atmosphere. According to the person who posted it, the two girls were practicing for a dance competition hoping to assess the effectiveness of their choreography from an external perspective. However, unbeknownst to them, this endeavor captured something unsettling. Observers are encouraged to scrutinize the footage closely as the eerie occurrence transpires quickly. In the background of the video, an obscure humanoid figure is discernible, hastily moving past the two dancing girls. Unaware of the presence behind them, the girls remained oblivious to the mysterious silhouette until viewers pointed it out. According to the person who shared the video, both girls were taken aback when they realized what had been captured, as they had not noticed anything unusual during the recording. The lack of detailed information surrounding the clip adds to the mystery, leaving viewers to speculate on the nature of the figure. Is it a ghost or some other inexplicable phenomenon? Paranormal investigators Dustin and Lisa from the YouTube channel The South CAC 2.0 embarked on a journey to the derelict Lake Shawnee Amusement Park in Princeton, West Virginia. Erected in 1926, this modest amusement park fell short of contemporary safety standards. Tragically, it is estimated that a total of six individuals, mostly children, met their demise within its confines. 
In 1966, the park was closed and left abandoned. However, persistent tales abound that the lingering spirits of its former visitors continue to haunt the desolate grounds to this day. Dustin and Lisa commence their investigation near the abandoned swing ride, the site where a young girl lost her life. In an attempt to make contact with the spirits, Lisa initiates a pendulum session. This involves posing questions to the park's ethereal inhabitants while observing the pendulum for any autonomous movements. The subsequent events unfold in a manner that is undeniably eerie. The little girl that's here, the object that I'm holding, it kind of looks like a necklace and you're more than welcome to touch it. It just lets me know answers to questions that I ask you. So feel free to answer as much or as little as you would like. Do you like it here at Lake Shawnee? And that's a yes. Have you noticed it? As Lisa communicates with the spirit of the young girl who met her unfortunate end on the swing ride, a shadowy figure can be discerned walking from right to left behind the two investigators. Despite Dustin and Lisa being oblivious to the presence, Continuing their investigation without any apparent awareness of what transpired, the camera captured this mysterious occurrence. One might speculate that the spirit of a deceased child visitor from the park emerged, perhaps attempting to communicate with Lisa during the session. Share your thoughts on this intriguing incident. The full investigation is available for viewing on the SouthCAC 2.0 YouTube channel. On a summer night in the Netherlands, Eric and Danya embark on a beach outing with the intention of witnessing the mesmerizing bioluminescent algae that illuminates the ocean waves during warm evenings. This phenomenon, renowned for its ethereal blue glow, is a sought-after sight for photographers and spectators alike. Despite their initial hopes, Eric and Danya are unable to locate any traces of the bioluminescent algae during their stroll along the beach. Disappointed, they decide to head back home, taking a pathway surrounded by the overgrown brush characteristic of the Dutch dunes. Unbeknownst to them, Eric inadvertently captures something deeply unsettling. It's well nice out here. But I'm going to make your head explode again. As Eric pans the camera, an abrupt and dark shadow-like mass momentarily appears, swiftly retreating back into the overgrown brush. The couple remains unaware of this fleeting anomaly as it transpires too quickly for them to notice. Notably, a fence in the video serves a purpose as crossing it is strictly prohibited due to the dunes being a protected natural habitat for rare bird species during the summer months. Given the protected nature of the dunes and the absence of large animals, it seems improbable that someone could have been hiding in the bushes. The inexplicable occurrence adds an eerie layer to the situation, leaving the couple perplexed as they delve into increasingly strange and unsettling territory. What did you hear? I don't know. Don't say that. I don't know. We're way too far away from any people to be getting creeped out over this kind of shit right now. I keep it to myself next time. Yeah, please do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm gonna be no, but are you excited. serious? Did you really hear something? Yeah. But what something. did it sound like? I don't know, like something like crawling, but following. It's a bit weird. It's like, yeah, crawling, but following. Is it still following us now? No, it stopped because we stopped. So it if we keep stopping. on going, it's going to keep on following us. I don't know, I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I heard it. Again? Yeah. 
There's nothing here though, babe. Uh, maybe there's uh, like a friendly bunny. <laughs> An overly friendly bunny. As the couple proceeds along the pathway, Danya becomes convinced that she hears something trailing them from the dense brush of the dunes. The mysterious presence raises questions about what might be lurking in the shadows. The unsettling aspect is compounded by the possibility that it could be following them as they hasten their journey home. Mad Max from the Nightwatch Exploration Channel, accompanied by his companion Sergeant Slaughter, ventured into an abandoned military hangar for an investigation. During their exploration, they captured something unsettling on their camera. Yeah, I heard it. You heard that? Go ahead. But it could be the wind. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of those panels and stuff. Shit, man. How the fuck did it even fucking get through here? Look at this fucking. Holy shit, bro. There's no way. What whatever that. Listen. That's just thunder. That's fucking thunder, but. What the fuck was that? There's no way. I can't make it. There's no way. There's no way that whatever we just saw could run through here. That through fast. Here. I mean, look how thick that bush is. Look at this. There's no way we would have heard him. He would have been all fucked up. During their exploration of the hangar, the team observed a distressing figure in one of the entrances, swiftly concealing itself upon being noticed. Reacting impulsively, the individual hastened to the spot where the apparition had been sighted. However, upon thorough inspection, no one was found in the vicinity. Upon closer examination through careful zooming, a mysterious white figure emerged, dissipating as abruptly as it materialized. The nature of this peculiar apparition raises questions. Is it a manifestation of a ghostly presence, or could it be indicative of something more ominous and obscure? In this unsettling video, from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals, David and Dell revisit an old haunted church where they previously had a disconcerting encounter in 2021. Undeterred by the mysterious events of their past visit, they venture into the adjacent graveyard in their pursuit of the unexplained. The video commences with their exploration of the graveyard, but it doesn't take long before they manage to capture something eerie on camera. I swear, I keep thinking that I hear something. Oh, God damn, I'm spell. Oh, I'm pretty sure I just saw something go. I don't know what I saw. It looked like a shadow or something go to that bush. What? A shadow going to the bush. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It, it was like a shadow. It's over here. It's over here. Where's here? The bush. The bush. The bush. Are you sure it ain't an animal? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know that I saw something. It looked like it was flying, to be, to be honest. Come on, come on, come on.
It was no skunk. It was flying, whatever it was. Ain't nothing over here. Unexpectedly, a dark shadow swiftly traverses past the gravestones, heading towards a sizable bush at the far end of the graveyard. Speculation arises among viewers regarding the nature of this enigmatic entity. Some suggest it might be a bat, while others perceive a resemblance to the ominous black cloak of the Grim Reaper. Signs and signals, however, lean towards the theory that it could be a bird. The question persists. Is this mysterious shadowy figure a bat? A bird? An otherworldly manifestation resembling the Grim Reaper? Or perhaps something entirely different? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Japanese ghost hunter Kuro from the YouTube channel, Black Story, embarks on a solo adventure prompted by a viewer's request. The mission takes him to a laneway in Tokyo, renowned for a series of curved mirrors believed to house a potent, haunting presence. Allegedly, both locals and visitors have shared accounts of witnessing shadowy figures standing behind them when gazing into one of these curved mirrors. The initial segment of the video follows Kuro as he explores the area, diligently documenting his surroundings with the camera. However, the narrative takes a chilling turn when, later in the video, he stumbles upon one of these ominous curved mirrors. では、検証終わります。検証終わって、あの、In the reflection of the street's curved mirror, a motionless dark figure is distinctly visible standing behind Kuro, who reacts with shock upon noticing it. However, when Kuro swiftly turns around, the figure seems to have inexplicably vanished. Despite a thorough search of the surroundings, there is no trace of the figure, leaving Kuro visibly unsettled. Opting to curtail his exploration, Black Story's viewers were left perturbed by the eerie footage. Many speculate that Kuro may have encountered the infamous ghost reportedly seen by locals and visitors in the area, with some even suggesting it could be an authentic shadow figure. 
The mysterious nature of this dark figure prompts contemplation on whether it has a supernatural origin. What are your thoughts on the identity of this enigmatic presence? Feel free to share your insights in the comments.